Yo, how's it going, Tomer? Oh my god, I haven't been publishing videos. Um, I guess I've just been lazy. Still sick. Took some drugs and feeling better. Nice. Drugs always make us feel better. Yo, how's it going, Jack? And up, up past, how's it going? Um, so I tried replaying the game and I, I wasn't experiencing the bug. Obvious, like, to, I guess to no surprise, I wasn't experiencing that, that bug that we had on stream. I'm gonna try it one more time right now. Um, and if, it, if something happens, I'm just going to, I'm gonna rewrite it. Um, Godot editor system confuses you. I, I think that's the general, like, I would say the general response from people who have gone, like, are switching from Unity to Godot, um, which I think is understandable. I mean, I think this happens with every engine. Like, it's so much harder, like, even if you're so familiar with an engine or, you know, familiar with programming, switching to, like, you know, even, like, just a different, uh, what is it, like, a programming um, pattern and stuff, it just becomes kind of confusing for people. Um, so, yeah. Um, I think that's, I think that's a natural, uh, natural response, I would say. Um... I remember, I don't know if you guys know Captain Coder, but he was saying how, like, kids who were exposed to um, Scratch at a young age had a really hard time learning uh, programming compared to students who have never been exposed to any sort of uh, programming. Been working on something posted on Steve's uh, Discord? Let me see. Whoops, I accidentally opened uh, Clipchamp. Yeah, I should remove that from my uh, taskbar. All right, there we go. Mm, where is Mr. St oh wait, I should have it up here. Oh yeah, there we go. Messing with Godot. Nice, switching between characters and having them follow each other. Nice. Oh yeah. Okay. <clears throat> um, but yeah, let, let's see if this. Oh, this should have been one eleven or oh, what the hell? Or maybe it's the same video. Actually, we probably crashed. Um, okay. I'm gonna test it out one more time on on uh, on screen on stream, and uh, yeah, I have a feeling it's gonna be fine, dude. I don't know. I don't know what was going on. I don't know what is going on. Uh, I have a feeling maybe it's because we used the singleton. So, I, like, my, my quick solution to fixing this is just to rewrite it not using a singleton. Um, but, yeah, let's see. Inspired by the old LEGO games. Never played any of them. Oh shit. Alright, I gotta get good. Uh, I'm still waking up, so uh, bear with me if I'm uh, just, you know, doo doo. Yeah, how's it going, Juho? Yo, Juho in the building. What's up, Juho? It's me, your favorite YouTuber, Saltoons. Ben Juho. Oh, dude, I'm, I'm actually, like, my brain, my brain doesn't work right now. Also, yeah, like, my brain cannot compute. Here, let's, let's play it. Play it. Not slow, we just have to follow our, our gut. Um, I did update that room, so it is a little harder. 
<clears throat> oh no. Oh no, we're gonna we're gonna die. Shit. Okay, I think I need to update that that area, actually. So Baldy? It's me. The bald streamer. Um Wishlist uh face plant, please. Need a sprite? Wakes up your body. Need a spite? Oh, sp need a sprite? Wakes up your body? What? Like a... Like a sprite drink? Dude, oh my god. That one is uh, actually really difficult. We gotta fix that eye. I don't know, like... I get, you know, it's so easy to underestimate something because you designed it so you know exactly what to do. But, um, for people who, like, have never s obviously seen the designs before, they'll find some of these things pretty difficult. Um, and I think I need to, I, I need to make sure that, like, the player knows exactly what is expected of them. And that's kind of hard to, to get. We need a sprite and a banana. Yes, it's a uh, my super secret juice. Oh, I see. Um, I wanted to say something. Uh, never mind. Something about design, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe it was just a rant. I mean, okay. One, I, I don't think the levels are bad. I think they are good. I think they're decent. Uh, I think the second one is much better too. This oh, ooh. this one is not nearly as good. Also, I there's something that I've gotten really used to in the designs, and that's the fact that you have like I've made it sort of a requirement that you have to dash into the green orbs, and I don't think that should be the case. I think it should be like you're almost done with your dash, not oh you're in the middle of the dash, so you can reset and like maximize on your positions or like if you maximize on your positions you'll get far farther um and i don't think that's a good i don't think it's a good it's good to expect that from the player um unless i could somehow teach that but i think it's kind of difficult to especially if you're coming from especially if you're coming from celeste because celeste doesn't really do that celeste does it in a way where like if you hit a dash orb um Well, yeah, if you hit a dash orb, you've already finished, like, you've already depleted your dash most, most of the time. Like, see how I'm, I'm dashing into it to, like, maximize the distance? Uh, I mean, I could just hit it, but, yeah, there's no point. Uh, at that point, I might as well just get rid of the, uh, oh, shit. Mm-hmm. If you know, you know. Spray and a banana? I don't know. Unless that's some sort of innuendo. If it is an innuendo, then I know. If it's not an innuendo, uh, actually, I, I don't know either way. I'm just trying to be cool. Oh yeah, I know. I know. Oh shit. Oh my god. You know, we're not crashing though. That's that's a good sign. It makes me wonder it makes me wonder, yeah, it might be something wrong with the engine. You know, it can't it couldn't pass. Oh fuck, I'm just bad. Do you know about the yearly Sage event? No, I don't know what the hell's a yearly Sage event. Is that an acronym for something? Sage. Saltoons. Sonic Amateur Games Expo. No, I've never heard of that. Also we have no um if you guys were wondering like where the where the sounds are. They've been muted because when I was playtesting earlier I was getting so frustrated from the crashing that I didn't want to hear a single sound. But now that now that now that the bug doesn't happen anymore, for whatever reason, we can go back to. Uh, oh, I'm gonna remove that um that eye there. 
So we have, what, seven more days to release this new... Oh, oh, no! What was I supposed to do there? Um, I also need to make sure that this level plays nice. Um, regardless, like, on the first run. Because you can see I restarted my death. Um, so we'll have to figure out what's going on there. You're late. I don't think I'm late. My schedule... My schedule says I'm right on time. It's 11 p.m. at my place, by the way. Yeah, how's it going, Cactus? Uh, oh, and... Uh, Kubileum. Kubileum. Welcome. Um... And save as a file, slowly but surely cracking code, hell yeah. Alright, so I'm probably not going to rewrite the boss until, like, the thing is, I didn't do anything to fix it. I, we kind of just, like, I don't know, last stream I felt like I was just not feeling it. I don't know, I didn't, we added some empty lines, we added some print statements. I did, I think I did, like, one or two things, but it didn't seem like it made a difference. Like, no dot activate, this shouldn't make a difference. Um, what, what do we erase here? We did have this, screen shake on the move camera. Maybe that's what was happening? Because we were running start screen shake. I don't know, it was such a weird bug. I'm not gonna... Like, the thing is, it wasn't giving us an error, and that was the problem. Like, I didn't know what the hell was going on. And, like, I couldn't figure it out. Like, I couldn't figure out what was... What was happening. But, I mean, yeah. We'll leave it. Yeah, how's it going, Lloyd? Highlight. Well done, soldier. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's a person waving. Oh, is someone someone was asking? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a little person waving. Or like you can also do a person who's like really excited. You can also do like a I wanted to make a joke, but it's a little too, might be a little too uh, messed up. Boom, boom. Oh, and that one too. That one's a good one too. I like that one. It's like, I, I. How's it going, Zundra? Mm, and hello, anyone else who said hi that I might have ignored. I don't think I did, but if I did, I apologize. Mm. Alright, um, so we're going to start designing the second boss fight. This is going to be ex or not the second boss fight, the third stage, which is going to be... Oh, we have to update the texture too. You can see, um, at the moment, it's I think it's like 180 pixels wide. Honestly, I think we're just going to edit this, uh, this file here um, and just make it larger. So, uh, what, what do we call this guy? Block of Flesh, but what's the, um, what's this sprite called? Block of Flesh, good, good, good. I'm... I'm really good with names. Good with file names. <clears throat> Hello there. Uh, may I ask how you manage your folders? Um, I manage them by not managing them. Unless you mean how I manage like switching between scenes and stuff like that. Okay, so the height is 256 pixels we're gonna make it uh, maybe so I can make it 320 like 320 is all we need but we might want to add more in the future but uh, I think for now I'll just keep it like this mm -mm -mm. all right um I just need two yeah let's grab these two wait it's uh, two and then all right, yeah, yeah. And then we'll grab these. Oh, fuck, what the hell? Uh, sorry, that wasn't real, a real response, um, Nightlight. Um, yeah, if you're talking about, like, folders, I mean, 
personally the folders aren't really well organized i would say but like when it comes to uh switching between scenes or like switching between rooms that's when it gets a little bit more um sophisticated because like the game just grabs the, the the path the file path of uh of each of the rooms when i like reinstance them um so i guess that's exciting um but yeah my like for instance rooms uh oh room like room is just in my rooms folder i just have a bunch of rooms in the rooms folder um if we have like i mean i have worlds too so like we have world zero world one or sorry i call them chapters now because uh yeah i don't know why i call them chapters now but they're called chapters two three four five or two three four six um when it comes to uh, switching between rooms, all I do is, um, if you're, it, like, let's say you're in this, uh, well, these are really large rooms, but for instance, like, if you're in this room, I only put this room and this room into the tree. Or have this room in the tree, and this one and this one. Because it's your game and you call it what you want. Yeah, exactly. Mmm. So yeah, that's usually what happens. Like, if you're in this room, everything else doesn't exist until you go into, like, let's say I go into this room, now I put this room back in. Um, yeah. <clears throat> but I am thinking, like, right now how it's organized is through, like, um, on the ready function, I have these raycasts that are checking for other rooms um, and, like, for adjacent rooms. Um, and I mean, it's not a bad approach, but... Like, the, the reason why I did it this way is because my rooms are constantly changing. Like, the, I can move these around, you know? Um, so, that's why I have it this way. But eventually, um, once everything is set in stone, all I have to do is, like, run some script in the editor to, you know, record all of the positioning of, of these rooms. And then never have to, we'll never have to use, like, these raycasts. We would just have, like, a, I don't know, like, an array. Or maybe, maybe a linked, I guess a linked list showing, like which room is connected to which. That's kind of how it works now. Um, but it would just be, I don't know, recorded in the chapter, in the chapter scene or something. I don't know yet. I haven't really thought about it. Um, it works, it, it works in the way, honestly, uh, it's like the least of my priority. Uh, I might not, I might not even fix it by the time I release the game. Cause it's like, it's not a, it's not a big deal. <clears throat> But yeah, we'll see. Um, okay. So, this is going to be our first room where the wall of flesh is going upwards. I'm not sure what we're going to design just yet. Honestly, it's probably going to be just like every other every other vertical room. It's just you have to traverse, traverse upwards. But, obviously, you have the time pressure of um, this object going you know, upwards. It's kind of like, you know, in Mario when... Um, you know, you have to like outrun the camera or outpace the camera, which is not that difficult, but we also have a laser that shoots at us. Um, and eventually I also want to add projectiles that shoot you too, uh, homing projectiles. Uh, but we'll see. Actually, we might ignore the project. We do have um, skulls in our game that can shoot projectiles for us. Uh, so we could do that. Um, but yeah, let's try to figure out what we want to do here. We're going to, we'll start out the room with like, Actually, I'll make this slightly larger here. Start it in the middle. Mm. All right, something like that. Um. All right, pretty cool. Um, honestly, maybe one more like that. Also, the wall is super slow. I, I, I'm coming to realize that the wall is very slow. I think what we're going to do is actually restart the, um, the stage. So now it's going to go upwards. It's going to go faster. And I think for now, it's not even going to shoot the laser. Um, <clears throat> so actually let's go into our block of flesh real quick. And what I'm going to say, we say max speed is a 100. Um, let me see. Follow player. I think right now, follow player, we just have it, what, like, global position plus equals direction two times speed, what? Um, acceleration, oh, okay. We do distance minus 100. 
Oh, uh, sorry. Distance divided by 100. Um... I mean, we can mess with min speed and max speed. Um, maybe make the min speed... Maybe we shouldn't make it constant. Or maybe we can do, like, vertical speed and horizontal speed. Um, here, let's actually make this an export variable for now. And then we can just edit it in the, uh, we can just, you know, manipulate it in the, in the editor. <clears throat> Funny how my game has a blob of flush too, um, and I have a chasing scene boss fight too. Nice. I wrote min edit, min speed. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna, oh, wait, no, we're gonna leave it the way it is, and then... Oh, wait, uh, now we have to min speed. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. Min speed. Max speed. Okay. Yeah, I was going body ash. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the hydrate so you don't have to. Am I drinking tea? No, I'm drinking, uh, heading out to do some ultra focus work. I'll see you, Juho. Juho is leaving the building. <laughs> Fake news. Uh, no, I'm not drinking, I'm drinking coffee. All right. Hmm. All right, um, let's go into this room and yeah, I'll just edit it here. So we'll say max speed is, let's just double it. Double it, give it to the next. I'll make the minimum speed 80. I feel like 80 is a good speed. 85 points, isn't it 50 points for the hydrate? Oh, it's 100 points. How the hell are you using all your points? I feel like points accumulate so fast. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh my God, you can't even. Uh, we're gonna make it so that it activates after you like reach a certain point because god damn I can't even move All right, there we go. Also, I don't know why the hell the this guy doesn't even chase us correctly. He's like offset by like A million points Saving up for that juicy credits mention See a pass this smart Woody Ash doesn't want want to be in the credits. Why is this here? One hundred Tomer is saving for the one day that I add something crazy and I'll be like, hey, nobody has this amount. And then, but Tomer does. And then. And then I, like, act like it's illegal. <clears throat> 159. 1659. Why should I get my name in the credits? You know, that's a <clears throat> a pretty valid response, Boyd. Um, 
It is a valid response. Alright. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, it is self-promo, though. I mean, it's not real. Like, who the hell is going to look at my credits? But, yeah, I mean, it is there. I think it's more of a token of appreciation for people who watch my stream rather than... I don't think anyone goes on the credits and they're thinking, like, oh, this is going to make me famous. Like, I mean, there are already way too many faces. Way too many names. People look at the credits sometimes. But, yeah, like... The only people that actually look at credits are the people who are in the credits, you know? <laughs> but I mean, I'm like, I mean, you guys will not recognize each other. That's a good thing. Now, we have so many people in the credits at this point, it what does it matter? I gotta update this too. <clears throat> okay. Um, I don't know what to design. Here, I'm actually gonna make this. Slightly smaller. And I'm going to put a checkpoint right here instead so the, the guide could update. Uh, in fact, we should make it update. Um, we should make it start. Like, we should only start the sequence once we reach a, ter a certain point. Exactly how many names? I don't know. I don't know if I'm getting a brain fart or I'm like, I'm thinking too deep into it. I don't know exactly what we're going to do with this boss fight. We can start with eyes, I guess. That's that's the first step. And honestly, I'm trying to think, do we even need to start in the middle? Or people who try to hire someone that big companies do, they steal each other. Oh, I see. Um, well, I mean, yeah, my credits are more of like a, an, a t uh, like a token of appreciation from people who like, you know, raid me or not raid me, people who watch my streams or like, yeah, support me. Um, so yeah, it's not really, it's not like, yeah, I don't know. I guess you can find the assets like, cause I also put the assets that I use. Uh, so if you're looking for decent pixel artists, I guess you can find them here, or you can find pretty good uh, pixel art packs and stuff, so. Yeah. And I mean, these are like, yeah, I mean, I don't think you're ever going to look at like an awesome human and be like, oh. Who is Bananatron, you know? But maybe you will. Alright. Let's do some designs here. I'm gonna start with eyes. Enemy eyes. You know what it could be also? The, you know what could be causing the crash? We have super large rooms. Like, these rooms are ginormous. And uh, there are a lot of particles running in each of these rooms. I don't think that would be an issue, but I don't know. Who knows? Um, we could definitely split this into sections, I just realized. Because, like, especially right here, this could be an entirely new room. Um, and what we could also do is not even... Just so it doesn't like we can still render like the next adjacent room um but yeah it, we could split it off into sections i don't think it i don't know i didn't assume it was going to be hard on the cpu but i don't know maybe it is because it is a lot of rendering i guess that we're doing off screen mm -hmm. makes sense but one in 100 people have the time to see credits like, if you play Minecraft, would you ever see... Um, I've never seen the credits of Minecraft. Or it, maybe I did. For, uh, for example, I've seen the credits of Terraria a few times. I don't... I can't... can't give you an exact name. Hmm... 
but then give it like a subway sticker. That's a good way to good way to see it. Well, most people know, but it's there. Yeah. Well, most people notice. Yeah. Okay. Um. Let me. Let me. Let me stop getting distracted. Let's actually do some level design here. Mm -hmm. I set up my um, my Raspberry Pi again. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it. I wanted to make like a Twitch bot, but I feel like it's gonna be a whole can of worms to start working on it. Um, but it is set up. Like I can connect to it. Um. I don't know why, but I had a Ubuntu, Ubuntu installed on it. I, I'm pretty sure maybe it was like a Ubuntu Lite or whatever. Uh, but even that was too much for uh, for Raspberry Pi. So I just downloaded the, um, what's it called? Whatever OS they use. Raspbian? Uh, is it called Raspbian? Probably, yeah. Uh, I was thinking of maybe I don't know if I don't know if it's possible to stream on a Raspberry Pi. Uh, maybe it is. We'll see. I was thinking of like I don't know, it might be weird. Doing like a if I ever did maybe not 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 24 hour stream. Right? I mean it would be a 24 hour stream, but it would be a 24 hour stream of like my room. So I might not even I might not like be talking or entertaining people, but I would have like a separate. Uh, you guys know uh, what's his name? Um, Thor. What's his name? Uh, Pirate Software. He redeemed the hydra. Goddamn, chill. Chill. Relax. Just say hey. All right, you know. I released. I mean, I uh, redeemed the hydrate. Redeemed my fake internet points. Failure to hydrate. Oh, I can't even reach it. We can if we do an upwards dash, but I don't want to expect that from players. Um, yeah, let's actually let's bring this down a bit. Hmm. So you do that, we can even put, we can push this more to the left. And then do do something something exciting over here. Um, I'm not sure yet, but I guess you know that's what we're here to find out. We're gonna do something funky here. Oh wait, uh, this doesn't work. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Left. You gotta dehydrate. Do you have to dehydrate? I have uh, an appointment, a doctor's appointment at 2, by the way. It's currently 11, so we have 3 hours. Did I say left? Um, when I meant le when I said left, um, I meant like we're going to do something on the left side. So like something, something exciting is going to happen here. Um, but if I said right instead... If I said left instead of doing something right here, then I'm then I mean the opposite of whatever I said uh, 30 seconds ago. Whatever makes me sound right, whatever makes me correct, and makes it sound like you just misheard me, um, is what I said. Um. So hit this, hit this, jump on this. Uh, we can make this a spring here. Might as well. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
Oh, in that case, we can actually bring this up by two tiles. There we go. I have zero points. Maybe you should, uh... Oh, shit. Maybe you should save your points. Oh, shit. Wait, this doesn't work? I guess I could put a spring here? Or... Yeah, I think that's the only thing we can do. Um, unless we can think of, um... You know, I really can't wait... I still think my game is way too easy. Even, like, obviously there are certain aspects of the game that are kind of difficult. Uh, but I still think the game is way too easy. Like, I can't wait to start making actual, like, challenging platforms. Like, not necessarily pixel-perfect stuff, but, like... Stuff that I would need to, uh, wait. Wait for. Oh no. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I also don't like that we're um we're in the dash state, but we're not experience like we experience the full dash and some of the neutral state before we hit anything. So I'm gonna push this closer, I'm gonna push this one closer as well. Uh maybe even like this. Um hmm. We'll see. Actually I can push that one there. Mm -mm. The land area is too small. Oh, you're talking about right here? Yeah, yeah, you're not supposed to land there. Most of my design in, in this game also involves not touching platforms. Like, it's, you're never on the floor. Or you are, but, like, not, not, not nearly as, uh, not nearly enough. Especially in this chapter. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Alright, so I think this is just going to be a bunch of platforming until we get to the next stage. Uh, and then in that next stage, I think, is when we'll add the uh, laser. Uh, we already have the laser, but I mean, when we'll activate the laser again. And it'll be faster, right? So this is... He's already twice as fast, right? 280. We did 260. Uh, maybe we'll make this 100 instead. Mm -mm, Touchscreen game? Nah, touchless is the new hype. Lurk, hope you're having a great- oh, thank you, Travel. How's it going? And zero. Hope everyone's doing good. Ripperoni pepperoni. Um... Wonder if that's for the best? Yeah, I agree. Mm -mm -mm. Um... I'm hoping with my fake internet points, I can teach people, you know, how to, uh, oh my god, he's actually so fast, but I, I, I really like it. I like how fast it is. Um, all right, so, mm -hmm. boom, 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 boom. What should we do here? I don't want to just keep reusing the same eyes and just 
I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world, but like, I, I like to do some sort of uh, some sort of obstacle here. Um, and I guess we could just do a combination of mechanics. So right now it's just the eyes, and then we can keep going up. Uh, one thing I've never worked on before for these chapters is like vertical rooms. Um, and vertical rooms that are connected to other vertical rooms. Like, always the entrances are, like, on the right side or the left side. Um, and I know it can work going vertically. It just doesn't look perfect. Like, I think what we would have to do is actually code something where, like, if the player does go through a vertical platform, we have to make sure that they stay on the second, uh, platform. Um, I'm sorry, stay on the sec in the second room above it, but... Yeah, I'll look into that at another day. Um, but speaking of Skyrim, has anyone <laughs> has anyone played uh, the new Starfield? And does anyone hate it just as much as I do? Is anyone else uh, an entitled gamer? I stopped playing it for now. Oh, you're finally awake. You know, I feel like I feel like um, might pick it uh, pick it back up. Uh, what was I gonna say? I wish. Bethesda would like remove any like copyright on that on that one scene so you can like use it in your games like it's such a meme that I feel like it would honestly just be marketing for them if they just let anyone use it is it as as is it as glitchy as people expected I, n I actually didn't have too many issues with bugs um The, the thing that I didn't like, I just didn't, I just found the game boring, personally. The gameplay, I didn't enjoy. Like, the core gameplay loop was, you know, menu simu- For me, it was menu simulator. Um, loading, I mean, I don't have a slow computer, but it was like loading screen simulator too. Like, you're just traversing between planets. Um, there's never actually any reason. Like, you're not, you're never in an, a planet for too long anyway. Um, so yeah, it, it wasn't actually buggy for me. You know what it felt like? I, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but for me, it felt like, um, cyberpunk and it felt like a hybrid between uh, one. I didn't really like cyberpunk, but I don't think it was a bad game or I don't think it was a terrible game despite like, like ignoring the bugs and stuff, like just the core gameplay loop. I wasn't a fan of, but I didn't think it was that bad. And I felt like Starfield was trying to mimic. I felt like I was playing uh, Cyberpunk while I was playing Starfield. And yeah, I don't know. I didn't. I didn't like that. Again, I could be an entitled gamer. Um, you know, maybe get the game yourself and make your own judgments. You have like 700 hours on Terraria. Yeah, something like that. Terraria. Yeah, Terraria is a good game. Uh, what do I want? Dash Orb. And they donated like 200k to like... I don't know how much they donated, donated to Godot specifically, but they did donate 200k to like open source engines recently. Um, which is pretty cool. I guess. All right. Like, thanks, Three Logic. Uh, I'm like 48% entitled gamer. You know what it is? I'm an entitled gamer, especially for um, AAA games. Um, it's kind of like ironic that, like, you know, for an indie game, I'm like, oh, this is done so well. Like, well, one, you can tell, like, the thing is with indie games is that. Like, you know it has a lower budget, so you can hold it to a lower standard. But even then, like, I guess because I have lower 
uh, a lower threshold to be impressed with indie games, I'm always impressed. Whereas with triple A's, it's like, you know, the, the in comparison to how much money they've invested into their game, like they should, their game should be amazing, right? But they, it never is. Um, and I think that's why, yeah, I just hold it to a much higher standard. Um, that's just how it is. Um, but I'm not gonna complain. Like, honestly, I'm glad that they're kind of bad. Uh, triple A's are kind of bad. Um, I, I, again, I, I think it's subjective. I don't know. Um, like, I don't know what you guys think about triple A games, but most of the time I'm usually not nearly as impressed with them. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm happy about that because. Um, I, I do think there is there is a population of people that agree with me. Uh, and that just makes it easier for the... Uh, oh my... Dude. Oh my... This is actually... This is nice how fast he's going, but it's too fast. Um, maybe what we could do is if you hit the eyes, we slow it down. Um, but I think for now, because I don't have that in the script, I'm just going to lower the speed to like 90? Or maybe 80 is fine. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Indie titles did really raise the quality standards. It's like, he can do the same as you, but with sticks and glue. What's the excuse? Yeah, exactly. That, that's exactly, that's exactly it. Um, and I th honestly, I think it's just very difficult to uh, make a AAA game. Like, um, like if, if, if you just have a large studio, it's hard to like have a huge investment. Because it's a corporation, you know, their main thing is... Their main goal is to make money, so they're gonna prioritize that over making like a good game. Whereas like indies tend to like for me, for instance, like the money is not really. I don't know. Maybe it's a bad you know business decision, but like for me, the money money is not the priority here. Um, for a lot of people, it's a passion project, so they're able to you know make what it, what they consider to be the the dream game. Whereas with triple a's it's kind of like hey we're hiring all these people to make something and these people live their own lives they you know they also might be indie devs um and where am i trying to go with this no one actually has the passion you know if you're just a cog in that huge project you might not really have the passion for it unless you're like the lead designer you know Which, I don't even know if the lead designer... What's his name? I've heard some pretty sus... Pretty sus stuff about, um... What's his name? Todd Howard? Lately? They do have a main creative guy. Yeah, but, like... Yeah, I don't know. It seemed like Todd Howard uh, overhyped the game. Like, was expecting it to... I don't know if it was, like, a publicity stunt or something, but, like... Yeah, they made it seem like it was gonna be this... Um, again... I don't know if I'm acting like a, an entitled gamer at the moment. I might be. For triple for triple A's specifically, you know. Todd overhyping a game never. His, his sin was to love too much. Yeah, I mean maybe that that's what it is. I, I know he's gotten criticism for it though. Um I don't know if he's just a like I I don't really know him. I did listen to a podcast with him uh not too long ago. And, I mean, he seemed, he seemed like he was into it, but I don't know. Shit. I don't know. I feel like if you were, again, I guess it's subjective because I know a lot of people who really do like Starfield, so that's that's another thing. Um, so it makes me wonder: Hey, am I just am I an asshole for thinking it's not good? Um, but I will say I know I have a few friends who agree with me. So, like, I have a few friends who like completely agree, and also I, I think video game. Not that he's the uh, almighty. Um critiquer but i think uh what's his name video game donkey i think also agrees that it's kind of a kind of a bad game but i don't know 
what, uh, but his response was kind of meme like his uh dunk view i don't know if you guys saw the the video game the dunk dunk view for uh for starfield but it was just like him saying like hey i'm not going to say anything so let me i think i think that says i think that says enough though i think he he thinks it's bad too but he just didn't want to get like uh shit on by like his viewers or like you know because he gives so many bad reviews um he didn't want like you know the the bethesda fan club to you know go on a witch hunt mm -hmm. how's it going she's, she's cory bear she's cory bear you know you got me into playing um <laughs> After I saw you streaming um, Fallout 4, I decided to install it again, and I was also playing on, I don't know, I was playing on survival, I don't know if it's hardcore, like, is survival hardcore, I guess because, no, no, mine wasn't hardcore, I guess, like, it would just go back to my previous uh, save file, but the issue for me, dude, what happened was it crashed. No, it didn't crash. I got stuck in an animation. I got stuck in an animation, and my last save was 20 minutes ago, so I uninstalled it. I uninstalled the game after that happened. I I was totally down to keep playing, and then... Yeah. I even downloaded, uh like, the unofficial bug patcher thing from, like, Nexus or whatever. Um, and yeah, that happened, and then I was just like, you know what, it's not, it's a sign, it's not worth it, let me just, let me just go back to game dev. I will say, I guess their games have been decreasing in quality, compared to, uh, I don't know, Fallout 3, New Vegas, Skyrim, uh, Oblivion, like, those were... I can't even pick my favorite one. I, I liked all of them. Um, for their own reasons, I guess. Hmm, I'm trying to think, like... We hit this, we can't reach this eye right here. Typical Bethesda, yeah. Um, I'm not... Yeah. Again, I don't want to sound like a... Entitled gamer, even though I, I think I am. I, if, you, if you keep having to say you're not an entitled gamer, I think you're an entitled gamer. Um, so, yeah. Call me entitled NPC. Mm -mm -mm. Takeaway is more... Uh... My, oh, my takeaway is more that the games were great concepts and scopes for their time but they haven't kept with the times. Uh, don't want them to chase trends, uh, but I do want them to execute better on what uh, what their games excelled at, yeah. I remember someone explaining, like, they wished... Like, because uh, I think in Starfield, at least, it was a combination of, like, handmade stuff and procedural stuff. Um, and, you know, most of... Most, most Bethesda games were... Uh, you know, handcrafted, you know, like the story, everything else, like the story, the, the world building, um, I mean, the, like the level design and stuff, and it was just a combination of both in the game, so like it felt almost cheap. Uh, someone suggested that if they just did like four planets in total, and just had like every planet be like their own little, uh, you know, their own little Skyrim, that would have been really cool. I think that I also agree, but I mean that's four times larger than Skyrim. But I mean Skyrim is over a decade old, so I feel like they have the ability to, and the tools and the means and everything. But they just didn't. I, I yeah, they didn't execute it well. IMO. But enough about that. Let's 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 talk about Unity. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I heard actually. I heard Unity is going back on on what they said, or potentially going back on what they originally said, something like that. Mm -hmm. 
even the chalk chalk eaters that's their name I made a song on it it just works Been posting about it in the Unity channel on Soldev. I see. It's a mixed bag. I think people are celebrating too early. Hmm. People are maybe are celebrating too early, but I think also people were also pretty quick to you know raise their pitchforks. So, uh, in my opinion, at least. I mean, I know it was a, like a breach of trust and everything, uh, but. Um, I don't know, I, like, it doesn't Unity, like, not make that much money anyway? Oh, I actually like this. I like this. Um. They weren't unwarranted, given that they tried, yeah, 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 for sure. Um. I just, I think I just know a lot of devs who were, like, too deep into the game, and I feel like everyone was, like, trying to, like, uh, I think it's important to understand that some devs ha have to stay with, with Unity. And, like, I just felt bad for those devs because, like, you know, you're so deep into a project and you're just hearing everyone say, hey, don't, like, you know, you're, like, you know, you're basically an idiot if you stick with uh, Unity. And it's, like, it's not, I, I would say, I guess it's just not that, it's not that black and white, right? Yeah, some people just didn't have an option to switch. Um, I know a few devs who don't. Um, Red Cabin Games, um, Iris John. Actually, those are the only two that I can think of on the top of my head, but that's enough for me to say, like, hey. <laughs> um, but I mean, yeah. It's good that they got some sort of backlash. Like, I guess the pitchforks were were warranted because, like, you know, maybe they wouldn't have they wouldn't have switched otherwise, or they wouldn't have made adjustments otherwise. So that's good. Um, I think enough people enough people complained so that I don't have to. But also, I don't really have a reason to complain. Like, it's not like I was. Um. I wasn't personally affected, and then, like, the people whose opinion that I, like, really care about are only the ones who are actually, you know, in the middle of a project. Don't think any devs using Unity... Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like, I don't think anyone's out there is saying, like, hey, we should give Unity more, like, you know, we should praise Unity or we should give them more power. It's, like, it's just an, an unfortunate turn of events for a lot of people. Yep, I was lucky enough to only have, yeah. You gotta be careful. Uh, you know, Trackmaster is a, is a, is a top tier solo development marathon jam, marathon game jam winner. You never know how many downloads that's getting. How many reinstalls on different devices people are, are making for that game. You have to pull it down, yeah. Um, I'm just happy I switched engines a long time ago. What do, you, do you use Godot? Zero? I feel like I played one of your games. I must have, right? Like for GMTK or something? They're not charging for free apps. is a joke like they're you're saying that they're lying about that i know they said they're not they're not char charging for um like browser games right free apps gambling education and a few other categories are excluded oh hmm so i just gotta add some math questions to my game Oh wait, I'm not using Unity, but if I was, 
I mean, you could say Iris John's game is teaching about the history of uh, of pirates. It's an educational game. Oh my god, how how the this this wall is way too fast. Maybe maybe just slightly lower it. I don't I don't like adjusting values like this. Where like oh well, let's just make it ten percent slower. Um, I usually like to like half values, like significant changes rather than minor changes. Um, but it seems like we're so close to it being perfect, but I'm just barely missing it. Um, I might change the uh, the speed eventually. Oh fuck, dude! I'm just I'm just bad at my own game, to be honest. I'm bad at games. I hate Bethesda. Well, I hate Starfield. An entitled gamer. Shit. I don't know what, what. Am I doing something wrong? Oh my god. Yo, bathroom. How's it going? You don't have to choose a front. You'll simply have to pay whichever is lower. I assume that's in response to something someone said that I didn't read. And, oh, whew. So it is possible, and I like that. I like that this, how this is done. Uh, but it's still not perfect. Also, our Z index of this room is like all messed up. Taylor, Taylor Shrimp. Thank you. Um, how to turn a game into an educative one? Add one plus, uh, add one to five factoids during the load or menus. Done, easy. Clip that. Clip what? What did I say? Most of would choose a percentage. I heard. I remember. Um, in fact, the uh, the whole the whole pres no, not the percentage thing, but the um, the installs thing is actually cheaper in most cases for people. For most devs. Um, or like at least on the lower end, like if you're barely reaching 200k, I, I think it is cheaper. I'm bad at games. I hate Bethesda, well, Starfield, and some other stuff. I see. Damn. Uh, if I ever apply to work for Starfield, uh, for Bethesda, they're gonna, especially with, uh, I don't know, I feel like... Everything that I record currently on Twitch is going to be, I mean, it already is, you know, immortalized on the interwebs. And you're going to be like, hey, you remember that one time? Remember that one time you had some, some opinions on Bethesda? But, you know, it, it, that'll be like 10 years later and I'll be like, hey, you know, like you guys have m made some great changes since then. Um... You know, that's why I came came to work for you. I do believe, you know, just like just like I I believe in you know, Unity being able to go back on their uh, on what they said. Uh, I believe Bethesda can Oh shit. Mm hmm. I believe uh, Bethesda can can redeem themselves. Damn, who's gonna be uh, the psycho to search that far? I mean, I was thinking like AI would be so good at this point. I mean, it's not. I I guess you don't really need AI to do that. You just need a, I guess, a powerful computer to just go through every every video and just you know. I mean, there is there is closed captioning for like YouTube videos too, so you can just maybe maybe there's some sort of like script log, and you can just see whenever Bethesda gets mentioned. I don't know. I'm just shooting the shit. They turn practical into an actual NPC. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You'd be the perfect NPC. What if we? What if I am? What if I already am the NPC? 
Wake up. Wake up. Wake up, practical. Everyone wake up. We're all in a Bethesda game. So I do like this. The thing, so um, I really like this design right here. We have to like hit this. Oh, what the hell? I like this where you hit this eye. You have to go to the right side and then you dash. Like it's kind of like you're forced to do a zigzag. But the thing is, I don't think anyone's. Good. I don't know. I don't trust my players to be, you know, that that good, unfortunately. But what we could do is just push this more to the left. I guess uh, it's not a it's not nearly as exciting, but it's it's a quick change in direction. And when I say my players, I mean like you know people who are new to the game. I think they'll get stuck here for a very long time, and I don't want them to. So, especially under the time pressure of um, a boss, you know, chasing you. Don't think. Uh, don't think they'll be able to be able to do it, unfortunately. It's very easy as the uh, you know designer to be like, oh yeah, this makes complete sense. Like, why would we do it any other way? But um, yo, mess. By the way, um, I never played your game, but seeing Saltoons play it was awesome. I didn't, I. Like, I remember you sending the video on this stream, and I was, like, thinking, oh, wow, this is, like, pretty cool. Um, but, yeah, seeing Saltines play it, I was like, oh, wow. It's actually, it's very, very cool. Oh, so you're finally, yeah, you're finally awake. <laughs> imagine. Imagine, like, they... I was watching some video recently i thought it was kind of dumb but like you know like they have to give you some sort of clues like there is there are like you know you're living in the simulation but there are like there's clues and like the skyrim you're finally awake is like the and the memes are around it is literally like you know the that's your um that's trinity sending you you know messages um through video games to be like hey the 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 Bethesda overlords have you have you trapped that that'd be a very interesting concept we could call it like what's like a cool a cool like sci-fi name like something like the matrix or something that'd be a cool name for a movie Yeah, I was going to the Hearing my my players just sound like you're talking about a D and D session. My players. Um. I wish I played more D and D. Mm 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 mm. -hmm. Uh, why not left? Why not left to... Let me see. What are, you saying? what are you talking about? This? Left spring? Why not left to spring, then right eye? Put a spring here, you mean? Or put a... Mm -mm -mm. When you're playing, you are jumping to an eye. Are you saying down here? No. Or up here? Which one? Which spring are you talking about? Your brain is not... Okay, this this spring right here, this... You're playing, you're jumping to I, then spring, then I. So I... Oh. I, then spring, then I. It's I, then dash orb, then spring. 
Pum, pum. That's a spring. Currently, you do dash orb, I, spring, I. You can do orb, spring, Don't change the level, change how you play. <laughs> you're telling me you're telling me to get good? Is that what you're saying? Practical you're just you're just trash, okay? Just do better. I'm not angry, I'm just disappointed. This is what Tomer is saying. I don't know what I could do differently. Maybe it it could be either I don't know miscommunication or one of us has a has a very smooth brain or both of us have a smooth brain. Mention uh, the mention of Matrix right after Bethesda just sparked an idea uh, of me. Uh, uh, the idea in in me of day making a game on that setting. It's perfect. The bugs um, as just part of the game world. Yeah. Um, I actually I've been working on a cool game idea. Uh, it's sort of an idle game. Yeah, if you wanna, if you wanna flirt with me, just just talk about level design, game design. Yeah, it's really what really what what gets me going. Learn level design, game design. Yeah. Talk about NSFW gaming. Yeah, for yeah, like I really don't like NSFW games. Like I, I don't think it's good. Uh, I guess, I don't know. I guess it's. I mean, it, I guess it is fine. I just don't think it's. You know, it's like the newest thing. I guess, like porn has existed since forever. Uh, especially like for, for you know, my generation. Uh, and I mean, porn games also, or like, uh, adult games also existed in my generation, obviously, but it's like, it's, uh, I guess I'm more aware, just like I don't like, you know, short form content, it's the same thing with, like, porn games, I feel like it's another, it's another one of those, like, dopamine, um, how, how do you, like, what do you call it? Just another form of like impulsive dopamine, uh, f you know, for lack of a better word, that's what it is, and that's why I don't like it. Also, they're pretty low tier, I gotta say. Most games that I see, at least when I when I had them on my um, like feed on Steam, I felt like they were all pretty bad. I was like, oh, these are like. Who the hell is making like there definitely is an industry i like my dopamine and exactly like why why are, like if you're already doing like might as well just do the like you know no no uh don't ban me twitch twitch i did not mean that okay 
I'm sorry. Don't, don't do drugs. Uh -huh, but if you're going to, do it safely. Talking about sugar? Yeah, sugar. Is that what people are calling it these days? I think it's always been called sugar, actually. Or... I don't know. Not that I would know. Or I feel like... You call it sugar if you're, you're trying to be cool, you know? give your game more attention raid lana lux when you're done streaming okay um my issue with raiding like i don't have an a i guess i don't have an issue like if i was a smaller streamer i would raid lana lux but i'm like i'm not okay i'm not a big streamer but i'm a relatively i guess relatively established streamer for for my for my category um i would say and the thing is, I'd rather, like, raid smaller streamers. Because it's like, I remember when I was smaller and I got raided by, like, a bunch of big streamers. And I was, like, so grateful. So, I don't know. Like, that's the one reason I don't really raid, like... Like, I always appreciated, uh, what's his name? Like, if, uh... What's his name raided me? Um, freaking like Saltoons raided me a few times, and it's like you know he could easily just raid some some bigger streamer, and like I mean it's free pu publicity for him, but it's like yeah, like I don't know. I'm at a point where like I was I was given like I was treated well, and I was treated well as a smaller streamer. And so uh, I would like to, you know, help others, like, also help small streamers. That's how I see it, I guess. Uh, cause I don't know. As a big streamer, you're gonna get views anyway. But maybe, maybe once, once in a while. The thing is, every time someone says to raid Lana Lux, I, I should, you know, I should follow her. I don't think I'm following her. Um, cause I get told, I actually get told that a decent amount of times to raid Lana Lux. But th yeah, every time I see her stream, it's like there's like 200 people watching. I'm like. There's already 200 people watching, and do you really want, like, 30 more views? Do you really need 30 more views? What the hell? Oh, we didn't we didn't update the collisions here. That's why I'm not dying. It's not about the views, it's about bringing your game more attention. But yeah, I mean, I already I feel like I already do enough to bring my, my game enough, m more attention at least. Mm -mm. I mean, you're not wrong, you're not wrong. Um. But um, I'm also very like self-critical. Like, it, if I raid someone, I like I I almost always feel, like even like I hate being I like I like to lurk on people's channels before I stream. I hate being active on their channels because I I feel like it makes it seem like I'm I'm just talking on their ch like it. Maybe it doesn't seem like that to them, but for me, it feels like, oh, I'm only on their channel for the poten for the increased possibility of them raiding me afterwards. Which, like, the thing is, that is a thing. Like, that does happen a lot. Where, like, if you're active in someone's channel before you start streaming, you're, you're, 
I would say you're more likely to raid them. Um, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'll raid you. Do you stream the tier? You don't stream, do you? Mm. Oh, look, you're watching Lana Lux. Here, I'll, let's see. Almost 400 people are watching Lana Lux. Why would I... 400, 400 people. Come on. I'll follow them, though. Mm -mm. I'm going to see if there are any uh, familiar faces. No. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. See, like, I, I'm i looking at my list of people to, to raid, and it's like... I mean, there are people who are still pretty pop. Like, Captain Coder has 110. I'd rather just raid him, you know? Um, raid you with a party of zero. So yeah, that's my only issue. Um, I, I, also, it's not like, I'm sure they're a great streamer. I've never actually seen their stream. Um, I don't want to sound like, I, like I'm hating on their stream. If they were just less popular, I would raid them. But they're already so popular, like, come on. Raid someone who, uh, if everybody raided, I guess, no, I was going to say, every, if everybody raided down, that'd be nice, you know. The big streamers raid to the smaller streamers. The smaller streamers raid to the even smaller streamers. I prefer watching smaller... Yeah, same, actually. Um, I, I don't like... I don't like when a streamer is so popular that they're not able to, like, respond... You know? Obviously, that's my least favorite, like... Kind of ironic, because I just ignored Ness. Ness's comment, let me see. Not sure how good of a marketing strategy that would be either. Most people would uh, probably ignore a small... Yeah, that's true, too. Like, even if you're, like... Oh, I I don't I've seen people like I don't know I think as a viewer you might like let's say you were potentially going to follow a streamer I'm sure if they were a really small streamer you wouldn't even uh, you wouldn't even follow them but if you saw it was like a rate of like 500 people, you'd be like, oh, this person's popular. Let me, you know, ooh, numbers, basically. Big numbers. They must be good. But yeah, personally, I like, I do like the smaller streams. Like, you, you'll you never see me on, for example, you'll never see me on Lana, Lana Lux's stream. Probably, probably not. Uh, but who knows? Maybe they're a person, like, maybe they're really, a really cool streamer, actually. I don't want to, like... Again, I'm, it's not like I am judging them before. I'm judging before I even see their stream. Uh, I am definitely doing that, which is, I guess, not fair. But yeah, like yesterday. Not, not that he's a small streamer. Like, honestly, if you're if you're averaging at least or you know anything above five, I would say is. Um, an accomplishment and those are usually the the better streams you know in my opinion like for if you have like 40 if you have anything above 20 you're probably low tier like low quality um narcissistic only care about yourself um that's the same thing um you're probably working on a platformer thinking oh hey you're probably making a celeste clone uh, and think thinking, oh hey, I'm making a unique game. My game's gonna do well. Like you know, be real. Be real with yourself, right? Uh, 
Oh shit, I, I'm so bad. You know, maybe I need to put another spring there. Because if I'm bad, I'm sure other people will be bad. I'm sure I'm still not doing the thing Tomer mentioned, but that's okay. Tomer, Tomer will, will do it and then I'll understand. Also, I think we need a... The other issue is that like, it's unclear because you can reach this eye Oh shit. You can reach the right eye before you even touch the left eye, so you like. It's forcing the player to think right on the spot. Uh, big boy there looks pretty fast. Is that his final speed? Um, his cur that that's his currently final speed. Current final speed. Yes. Could go up. Um, but I haven't introduced the lasers into this section yet, so maybe not. Maybe I think that speed is fine. The thing is, once um, once we introduce the, the lasers, he stops moving. So like, we could increase the speed, and it wouldn't be that punishing. I don't think. We'll see. Mm, perhaps I'm stupid. Perhaps, but perhaps you have a big brain, and. We're all we're all stupid too. I feel like nothing's wrong with like bringing up ideas. Obviously, like I I think that goes without saying. Like you got to be wrong sometimes to be right. You got to be wrong. You definitely have to be wrong sometimes if you want to be right. I mean that's that's level design in general too, or that's any product I guess, right? Or any sort of thing that exists. It's like can't be. If you're, if you're right all the time, you're just not taking any risks. Like for me. For, for me, for instance, I'm making a Celeste clone. Um. <laughs> no, no, I, I still think, it, like, the thing is, I, I think I get it. Uh, also, let me know if you guys want to hear something. I'm like, I feel like I'm talking about myself a little too too much right now. Um, but I, d I do get criticized that my game is, you know, a Celeste clone a lot, of the a lot of the time. But the thing is, it's hard to make something, like, novel if you've never experienced level design or game design. Like, it's good, it's easy to, like, mimic something and then figure it out along the way. Like, hey, this is, e like, I, I feel like I'm a pro level designer at this point. Or a decent level designer, a decent mechanic maker. You know, like, I'm pretty good at, like, making a game feel responsive. And... The only reason I know that is because I just looked at other games that did it. Um, so while, yeah, it's less risky, you are realizing, you know, what works and what doesn't. You're kind of, like, going on your own path with, like, um, a little bit of, like, a guideline of, like, what's right or wrong. Sorry to annoy NPC, but could you help me with thinking in Godot? When you would implement an upgrade system for your character, how would you implement this? Uh, just on the on the high level, don't need for uh, don't need details. Upgrade system. Mm -hmm. I mean, there there are a bunch of ways to do. It. Like, are you do you want like multiple nodes that like represent your like? For instance, you can do it. This is something that I've been doing lately, and I think it's really good if you have like a very sophisticated game or like a a, a large game. Uh, creating things in like nodes. Uh, to represent like what like for instance maybe call this an upgrade um, it, again it's kind of subject like you can put it all in one script or what, like whatever you want or like maybe have I don't know yeah I, I think this is a nice way to do it um, just have like a node that represents uh, all of your like right here you can see I have these uh, collecting my states of the player uh, this is kind of like an ugly way to do it uh, well, not an ugly way to do it. Uh, this is not how it's fully implemented into my game. But, you know, for instance, this could be like the, I don't know, like the backflip skill or the, you know, the, the dash skill or the, uh, um, the uh, you know, combo number three or something like that. 
And then you can just collect all of those and then you can deal with the scripts inside of them and then just have the player access each of these scripts. That would be, I think that would be a good way to approach it. It's very organized too. And I mean, that is how Godot is set up. Like you, you do want to use your, um, your nodes. Uh, I mean, like that's the structure of the, uh, of the engine is like, you know, putting everything into a node and running a script into it. Um, that's how I would, I would say that's like my current like mentality or like my current thought process in a lot of things with Godot is doing it that way. Um, but I don't know how you would do it other, like in other engines. I'm, I'm, I don't think they do it the same way. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. Um, yeah, I hope that helps. Dog goat, <laughs> dog goat. I like. Oh, I think I. I think I have a a a, a new um a new emote idea. Dog goat. It's a uh, Doge, but Godot. Godoge. Ooh, Godoge. <laughs> Return to dog. <laughs> Though those are good. Two dog and Gadoge. Has, any, has anyone? Did you guys get this notification on the whole AI search? I don't know. I saw it and I was like, oh, yeah, whatever. Let me enable it. Boom, boom. Oh, we just get Google for some reason. We got to make our own. Uh, should I? Should we do that now? That's a really good idea, Gadoge. Uh, I'm not an artist though. I need to commission someone to do this. I mean, we can. I can do it, but it's just not gonna look nearly. I mean, we did all of our window icon and uh, Doge. Like this, but here, let me try this. Oh, fuck it. I think we have our priorities in order. Do whatever that is not getting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you. Make make every every load command return a doge image. Stable diffusion. That shit. I've never used. How do you how do you stable? How do you what do you even do for stable diffusion? How do I how do I stable diffusion? Mm, is it this? Get started for free. Mm, I don't know. It's probably the easiest way. Okay. Give me one second. I need to make an account with uh, my Gmail. Um, I agree to abide by Night Cafe's terms and conditions. I consent to send me marketing related. No, I do not consent. Oh, but I earned three credits. You know what? I'll do it. Yes. Money. All right. Type something. Can you combine the uh, the Godot icon with the Doge meme? Dog. Doge dog mean. Yes. What's this? Thank you. Can you close? We're... Give me one second. I don't know if this is, um, I'll be right back. Why is this here? Can you j leave me alone? Oh, there we go. Boom, boom. Um, pro generations. Uh, 
I'm, I'm doing something wrong, aren't I? This creature, oh, it's still rendering, okay. Just describe you, you wouldn't have done in a simple way. It's more efficient to do, okay. Progress images show. Bruh, come on. Are you, are you joking me right now? Come on. I could do better than that. Is this all? Does it only give you one? It's pretty cute though, not gonna lie. But like... Oh, you can set a style. So I want, I want something like this. Um, make sure it's just their face. Make sure the Godot icon is still recognizable. Um, what else? Um, keep, keep it simple. All right. I don't know. Bum, bum. We'll try this one first, or honestly, I'm just going to do this one and then we'll call it there. I do want to get back to level design. I'll be right back. I'm going to go pee. Mm, mm, mm. Where's, where's this? Um, let me get rid of my TV. There we go. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. This is terrible. Does not look good at all. I'll show you guys. <laughs> All right, thanks for nothing. Uh, we'll try more. I mean, these are obviously these are good, just not what we want. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't, I don't even have to pee anymore. Let's keep working. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, you know, I'll be right back. Something is hard and it's its own own form. Yeah, no, I'm sure. Um, it needs another kick to get going. Mm -mm -mm. One more kick and it's gonna start a uh, start an uprising. And there's gonna be it's gonna be like that movie. 
That one movie about the AI uprising. With Trinity and Neo. Not sure what it's called though. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The vector. Ah, the vector. Imagine <laughs> that. that. <laughs> yeah, in another universe, that's what it's called. The Vector. This is pretty cool. Why do I already have four notifications? Neo's mm -mm, mm -mm. the vector defector. He is, um, oh shit. Opened up a caffeine pill. Oh shit. I just spilled caffeine all over my keyboard. My caffeine powder. Or, that's what I call it, you know? It's like, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I call it. How's it going, Iris? How you been? I feel like it's been a hot minute. Mm -hmm. Keyboard blow. Yeah. You guys ever... Oh my god. It's so... It's such a nice feeling when you clean your keyboard. Uh, have you ever, like, ran... I don't know if you guys have a... Like, I don't know. If you live in, like, a... First world country. I mean, I feel like every... Even if you're not in a first world country, I feel like everybody has a... Uh, a mechanical keyboard at this point, or most people have a mechanical keyboard. If you're in front of your computer at least eight hours a day, you probably have a mechanical keyboard. Was that coffee, aka more caffeine? Yeah. Um, yeah, I drink coffee, I take caffeine pills. Um, I don't know, I think there might be something wrong with me. Random HP keyboard that I stole from my old jobs. Typical 490 user. I do, you know, something about the, um, I do like old keyboards. Or like, uh, rubber dome keyboards. I don't mind them. I think it's the nostalgia of like, you know, just old, old, the old days when I was, a, when I was younger and I'm just like mashing rubber dome keyboards. I don't know. Is it even a real stuff? Is it even caffeine? Is that what you're asking? You're asking if it's real caffeine compared to what, like microplastics? Maybe they just put microplastic in the... <laughs> in the 
in the caffeine pill, they're just like, hey, you don't actually have caffeine. Let's just put plastic in it instead. Coffee flavored microplastics. Mmm. Delicious. You know, I used to drink a lot of tea and I stopped because, um, well, I don't stop drinking. I didn't stop drinking tea, but for like a decent amount of time, I, I was drinking from, um, like they, they would package the tea in like this, uh, this plastic thing. And I was worried that like I was consuming a lot of plastic that way because like of how they're producing it. I wonder. It's like this plastic netting that they would put the, the tea in. Uh, and I did some research on it. I mean, I didn't, I don't know. A lot of the stuff is like, what is it like? There's just not enough information on it. So I was like, you know what, fuck it. I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not even gonna um, risk it. But yeah, apparently those, those plastic bags have a lot of microplastic in that from what I've from what I've from the research that I did I would suspect one of the worst peop uh, is people eating plastic microwave meals y you mean like the packaging from microwave meals or are you saying are you calling those microwave meals plastic no, in uh, eating caffeine itself, drinking coffee with caffeine sounds like a killing spree. You you build you can build a, a pretty high tolerance to caffeine, so I'm pretty sure that's what I have. Um, and yeah, I also like it stays in your system for a relatively long time. So I'd rather get all my caffeine early on and then sort of like crash later on rather than, you know, staying wide awake. Like it'll affect your sleep. Um, it still t affects your sleep if you take it, take a lot, but less so. Yeah, me neither. Actually, those microwave meals, I usually take them out. Uh, maybe I'll microwave, like, ideally what I would do is I would take it out from the freezer and leave it in the fridge for, like, a day. Like, if I knew I, I was going to have a microwave meal the day uh, before, I would take it out, leave it in the fridge, then throw it into a plate afterwards. Mm -mm -mm. Look at all of us being uh, healthy. Also, another thing, I'd, I'm actually pretty... Uh, like, something you guys may, might not know about me, but I'm pretty paranoid about, like, especially because of, uh, you know, like, I live in a city, so, like, there's obviously a lot of pollution. Um. So, I do have, like, an air, f I, I don't know if it does really much, if it does much. It definitely does something, because, like, I'll clean that, I'll clean that, that filter the air filter and I'm like wow dang that's a lot like that I'll clean it with water too like I wash that and it's like yellow it's nasty <laughs> with two heavy smokers as roommates and my air purifier I was able to keep the clear air clean still yeah I have a really small one though, a basic $100, I don't need, mine is not even a hundred bucks, but I live in a very, like, you've seen my room, like, my room is tiny, so I have like a simple $30 one, and it's very small, it's like, where is it, you can kind of see it right there, that, that white thing right there, uh, it is pretty cheap, I was thinking of buying like a bigger one, uh, but yeah, my room is very, sm looks pretty similar to the room I had. Oh, so maybe I should. I was thinking of uh, buying another one, like a bigger one. Um, cause yeah, I'm. I, I wouldn't say I'm like. The thing is, some of this stuff is like not in your control. Like if you live in a city and it's a polluted city, you're you're gonna you're gonna be exposed to at least some of it. 
But you can try your best with like air filters and stuff. Two expensive ones that my wife got for like 80% uh, 80 discount. From a, oh. Mm -hmm. All right, we just keep playing this room. I think it's good. Um, so what's next? Honestly, I feel like I've been really late. I think starting Monday or very close. I don't know. I, I definitely have been feeling lazy lately. And I think it's just that I'm, I don't want to say I'm burnt out, but I'm just like waiting for something to happen. Um, so I haven't been making the same amount of progress that I've, that I wanted to make. Um, I'm hoping that'll change soon. I think maybe next month, like it's a new month. Like today was a, or this month, September was a slow month. And I think next month will just be me picking things up again. Um, I've also worked on this chapter. This is the second month I'm working on this chapter. We added the boss fight or we're working on the boss fight. And I think because I like was like, oh, we have two months to work on this. Like I could take my time. And I was, I think that was my mistake was stretching out the mechanic or stretching out the chapter. Um, it is what it is. Next month we're going to start working on, actually, I would maybe tired. I think I'm not tired. I'm burnt out. I think. Or just not burnt, uh, like bored, I would say. Like, I need something new. Um, I've been staring at the same red chapter for so long. Have fun. I'll see you, Kenny. Peace. Uh, have you heard of Earth? Unity... Unity runtime fee? Just commercial stuff in Unity sucks. Runtime fee? No, I have not. Ice cream always solves your problem. Try it. You know... You know, I haven't, um, I haven't eaten, I don't really eat, uh, I don't eat, <laughs> that's the end of it, uh, I don't really eat junk food, unless you consider ramen junk food, actually, which it kind of is, um, but I usually don't drink the water either, like the, it's, it's way too much salt, mmm, They changed it yesterday. Are you talking about like the whole in installation fee stuff that they planned on changing? Changing. Mm -mm. Eighty percent of your daily sodium intake is in. Uh, um, yes, but also I don't drink the, like ninety percent of that salt. All is uh, in the uh, in the water. Obviously, the the noodles I guess absorb some of it, but yeah, for the most part, it's just the water. So if you don't drink it, you're fine. Usually I put like, like, uh, my go-to meal is four eggs and uh, and ramen, and that's it. It's pretty pretty top tier. If I'm if I'm fe really feeling hungry, I put two two packs of noodles, raw eggs. That's nasty. I don't know how people do that. Raw eggs in their ramen. I think it's nasty. Yeah, I'm part Asian. Well, I think it's it's more of a Japanese thing. I'm not Japanese, but. Um, yeah, raw eggs and noodles, not my, I don't like it. Pre-fried slash cooked, it's not exactly stellar food. Oh no, yeah, for sure. I think the, the ramen part, the, the noodles is just to fill me up. I think the eggs are what, like, are actually nutritious. <laughs> raw eggs and anything, turn me off. Um... I'm trying to think would I ever eat raw eggs I have tr I have had raw eggs before just like you know for the memes you know you saw rock you, you you watch Rocky once and you're like oh yes you know what's crazy raw eggs taste like eggs salmonella hello eh, they're worse things than salmonella also, living in a first world country, I, I, I always say that, like, oh, I live in a first world country. <laughs> Look at me. Um, I think most eggs don't have salmonella if you live in a first world country. Because well, they're, like, pasteurized or whatever. 
Uh, mering meringue is whipped eggs. Do you like lemon meringue meringue pie? Don't even know what that is, to be honest. Sounds familiar, actually, but oh, th mm, I'm not a fan, actually. Meringue, <laughs> meringue. No meringue. <laughs> I want some meringue pie. <laughs> it's egg white whipped with sugar. I see. Um, is this top part like, um, solid? Like it's it's like hard to eat. I'm part Russian. This looks sort of like a Russian dessert, sort of. Fam familiar Russian dessert. That I'm not a fan of. Um, I mean... Isn't isn't mayo just whipped or no mayo has egg whites in it and I think it's not cooked either. It's like egg whites, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I gotta take a dump, um, and I don't plan on doing anything else on stream, so I might just. Um... Where's Lana Lux? She oh shit, no way to click. Oh no, five hundred no way. I'd rather just raid uh, Captain Coder. He actually raided me recently. Um, he might be finished. He's he's on a four-hour streak. To calculate this, but let's up go for him. So my ink poop break. Yeah, Wait, well, not a poop break. It's gonna be a. I'm gonna break the toilet. Poop poop breaks the toilet. Um. But yeah, we're gonna go for a Captain Coder. Someone said to raid raid up, so we're gonna raid up today. Um. Oh oh, dude, I I'm crowning. Wait, so stream ends? Stream ends! Sorry, I also gotta really go. Here, if anybody's interested in wishlisting memory, I'd greatly appreciate it. Helps with the algorithm. Um, can you tell Captain Coder I had to go? There was a an emergency. Bathroom emergency. Uh, but I'll, I'll tell him I'll, I'll be back. Me like that. Didn't even fully enjoy my Saturday. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to spook you. I'm sorry for the spook. Whoa. Ooh, we getting all the rates. Stay practical. Practical.